What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to share a resource that I came across recently for designing really cool backgrounds for your iOS apps. Now, admittedly, you can use this tool for other uh, development as well, but I'm going to share it in the context of iOS. So before we get into it, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, and let's take a look at Haikai. I don't exactly know if I'm saying that name correctly, but I'll toss a link to this website down below. Totally free to use, and we're going to take a look at it and bring it into an iOS app. So it's basically a web app that lets you create really cool backgrounds uh, that use things like curves and shapes, uh, abstract shapes, different layers, different sizes, and it's really powerful, honestly. And it was uh, mentioned to me by another YouTuber uh, by the name of Fireship, for those of you that are familiar. So if you scroll through here, you can see you can use it for things like backgrounds, development, blog posts, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The sky's the limit with your creativity. They've got some inspiration, yada, yada, yada. We're gonna go ahead and click on the button and actually dive into this application. So when you go ahead and hit the button, you're gonna see on the left you have some uh, template styles. This one is a wave, this one is a blob. You can go through this and see there's other ones in here, like there's circles, there's a uh, squiggly line thing. This one is layered waves. You can see that some of these uh, have more abstract shapes. And what's really cool about this is not only can you use these templates, but you can customize the heck out of these templates. So let's go ahead and pick one. I kind of like this one here. Kind of has a Apple Mac OS wallpaper theme to it. And what you can do is you can A, use these sliders on the right hand side to adjust a variety of things. So you can adjust, see the wave there. We can hit this button in the middle and it'll adjust it as well. Now you can go ahead and move it up or down. You can change how jagged the actual uh, line is going to be the wave i guess i would i'm going to go ahead and call it and it's pretty cool because you can go ahead and get the look and feel that really meets the need of your application whatever look you're going for now of course you can change the uh, aspect ratio size colors all the things that you would expect to find uh, that are editable so let's go in here and tweak the color a little bit i'm going to go ahead and pick the bluish color here uh, it might, looks like a little weird, so let's go ahead and change it a little bit. Maybe we'll do that. Now, once you've found a design that you like, and trust me, I've spent hours in here, you can go ahead and hit either SVG or PNG down at the bottom right. It's going to go ahead and download it. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is drag it to our desktop here. Let me actually drag it down here. And I've got an Xcode project created here. It's a uh, blank Swift UI app, nothing fancy. So we're going to go ahead and rename this uh, file. I'm going to go ahead and call it, I guess, bg.png, bg for background. And we'll basically go ahead and drag it on in. Now, once we've dragged it in, what we're going to go ahead and do is use it in our contents view. So let me jump into here. And here is the previous example that I was playing with. So let's go ahead and hit resume. We'll make sure that it clears this out. Sometimes the preview loves to be super slow. It, it must know I'm doing videos. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the label that the template gives us. We're gonna go ahead and toss in a Z stack. Now inside of here, we're gonna toss in our actual image. We're gonna go ahead and make it resizable. And we're gonna also say scale to fill. Go ahead and hit Command B. If your preview doesn't cooperate, you'll see a resume button like I do right there. Go ahead and click it at the top right, and we should see our uh, background come in. Now, if we don't see it, chances are we did one of two things wrong. A, the name of our image right here is incorrect, so BG, that looks good to me. And let's go ahead and take a look at this image name back in our asset catalog, which it looks like it didn't rename, so let me go ahead and change that. Let's jump back to our preview, go ahead and hit the resume button one more time, and we should be good to go. So just wait on this uh, preview, and boom, there is our background. Now, one thing that's kind of ugly is the fact that we have the safe areas being respected here. We're going to go ahead and say uh, ignore uh, safe areas. I think it's something along the lines of edges ignoring all. We're going to toss that modifier on the Z stack as well as on our image. Now, because it's a Z stack, we can put stuff on top of this. So hypothetically, if you wanted to have a V stack, V for vertical, we can go ahead and add a label inside of here. I'm gonna go ahead and make it bold. I'm gonna also go ahead and make its foreground color, uh, perhaps white, and we're gonna toss a spacer to push it on up. 
Now it looks like it pushed it a little too high. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. It should be centered. Uh, we'll have to figure out why it's not centered uh, later on. However, hopefully this uh, draws the point that I'm trying to convey here. You can use Haikai to build beautiful backgrounds, bring them into your app, and you can of course compress the sizes and tweak the sizes to meet your needs to meet, make your app size as small as you want it to be. And you can, you can bring these in and make your app really stand out. Now one last thing I'm gonna share is, some of you are gonna definitely drop this in the comments, you can definitely achieve the look of these waves and whatnot just using shapes uh, in your app without any imagery. However, sometimes just using images for things like buttons or gradients uh, make your life easier. Sometimes it's not always feasible to build out really complex backgrounds. And the example that I like to share is this one here. Can you make this with Swift UI shapes or even a UI kit? Absolutely. Uh, are you gonna drive yourself nuts doing it? Probably. So, uh, you know, it's a trade off between bringing on an image or using shape. So, uh, use it as you may. I'd love to know what you guys think of this uh, resource and this tool in the comments down below. Drop a like if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to the channel to stick around for iOS, Swift, Swift UI, and other tech content. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.